Hello. Again. <laughs> okay, so once again, good afternoon to everyone. So I would like to welcome everyone to our another session. So, yan. Katatapos lang natin ng, uh, ng second quarter. All right, so last week we had our awarding. And now I welcome everyone to our uh, lessons for the third quarter. And so I guess I have to share my uh, PowerPoint presentation already. Ayan, so while we are waiting for the PowerPoint presentation to be presented, I would like to uh, greet all of our Italiers all over the Philippines. Okay, so we have Renz Giver Calianta. So he's from Imelda Int uh, Integrated Secondary School, Grade 7, SDO Malabon. Okay, so actually Renz Giver is one of our awardees ng ating... Uh, Nakaraang awarding for the second quarter. Okay, so we also have from San Fernando, San Fernando, SDO City, San Fernando, Pampanga. We have Carlo Miguel Malonzo. Yes, good afternoon. We have a lot from Pampanga, no? So from Pampanga High School, SDO City of San Fernando. So their advisor is Sir Ramil Sabado. That's from Al Raisa Zain, Gaza. Okay, so where else? Ayan, so we have from Quezon City Ren. Good afternoon po, watching from Novaliches High School. SDOQC. All right, so that's from Caribbean Gabriel Villamor. Okay, so thank you so much for all of you who are really tuning in to our session every Tuesday. Okay, and of course, yes, okay, a lot of good afternoon. So I cannot read everything. Okay, I cannot read all of your greetings, no, but I am so happy that you are all here to watch and to learn again for another session here at Italy. Okay, so just like what I've been introducing, okay, so we have been introducing ourselves to you. I'm Tutor Arnel from SDO Pasig. And of course, supposed to be Tutor Drace is here, but she's attending to something very important. So she will be with us again next time. Okay, so both of us are from SDO Pasig, and we would like to invite you all to be with us every Tuesday from 1.40 to 2.20, PM. So if you wish to check on the recorded video or to the recorded uh, lessons that we have, you can actually check it on Facebook, DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd Tayo, or in a YouTube channel, DepEd Educational Technology Unit, DepEd TV. So there are a lot of means or there are a lot of ways for you to check on the lessons kapag medyo na-skip natin because we are just too busy on a particular day. Well, so let me just introduce our lesson for this afternoon. Oh, yeah, we have in our screen. You can just actually like and subscribe in our Facebook and also in our YouTube page. So you can see it right below the screen. Okay, so our lesson for today would be about using multimedia resources in giving information and making explanation. Ayan, so title pa lang class, no? Malaman na, right? So that's going to be a very interesting day or the very interesting session again, talking about multimedia resources, okay? And we would like to thank, of course, Ayan, mamaya tayo mag-thank you dun sa ating source. So, ipopromote lang natin yung National Arts Month of our MAPE department. So, of course, they have their theme, Sining ng Pag-asa. So, they already started last February 12, and they are up to having activities on February 19 and 26, 2022. So, yung mga kasama natin dito sa Itula, you can actually... Uh, com uh, communicate or you can actually reach out to the following people uh, if you are interested to participate. So the time would be from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Okay, so I can't read everything, my dear students. So we do have for kinder to grades one to three, they have uh, music, vocal solo for physical education, TikTok dance, and for arts, we have the creative drawing. So just look at the screen or if you have chance to screenshot, para makuha niyo yung mga pangalan ng focal persons natin, then you can just do so. So this is for grades 4 and 6. For music, for those who are interested in playing musical instruments, you can just contact the focal persons mentioned. Physical education, hip-hop dance, ayan, yung mga magagaling talaga sumayaw, no? And we have for arts, for grade 4 poster making, for grade 5 painting, for grade 6 photo essay, just play, take a photo of 
the focal persons on our screen. And siyempre, magpapahuli ba ang junior at senior high school? We do have for music, virtual himig kundiman, for physical education, OPM dance exercise, and for arts, we do have e-kultura, rampa feast ng Pilipinas. So if you are interested to any of these activities, please just contact the focal persons that are flashed on the screen. Yes. Okay, so this is the module that we used for our lesson today. We would like to thank DepEd Region 10. Ayan. So nakakuha tayo ng resource natin from SDO from Region 10. And we utilized their module for our lesson this afternoon. Okay, so this will be our objectives. So at the end of the session, you will be able to, of course, for your cognitive aspect, you are there to identify the different readily available multimedia resources. And then, ayan, may naalala ko dahil puso siya, appreciate the benefits of multimedia resources. So kahapon, di ba, February 14, I don't know how many of you celebrated it. Of course, ang pagmamahal ay hindi lang naman para dun sa ating mga iniirog. But of course, we can actually express it with our family members. So, belated happy Valentine's to all of you. And then, of course, for our psychomotor aspect, use correct and appropriate media resources in giving information and making explanations. So, take note of the following objectives for our week one lesson for quarter three. Okay, so for our activating prior knowledge, let's get ready with our keyboards right now. So let's actively uh, participate in our virtual discussions by typing in the answers. So let me read the directions for you, my dear Etulai students. Identify which, which of the given statements are true or false. So alam niyo lang kung yung statement ba is true. If it's right or palagay nyo siya itama, you can just type in true in our comment section. And of course, if it's false, you have to type in false kung palagay nyo it's not correct. Okay, so let's get started. The first sentence that we have here is... Multimedia is a broad term for combining multi, multiple media formats. Again, multimedia is a broad term for combining multiple media formats. So is that true or false? Okay, so while waiting for your answers, balik-balik tayo sa mga comments dito. Yes, from Makabebe High School. Again, from Pampanga, no? Their advisor is Sir Kenneth Debrida. So that's from Andrea Cruz. All right, of course, from Mangahan High School. Thank you so much for joining me here from Angela Lynn Abud. All right. So, uh, ayan, natakpan siya kasi maraming nagsagot na. Okay, so mamaya tayo magbasa ng mga greetings. All right, so most of you answered true from Carla Miguel Malonzo, from Kirobin, Gabriel Villamore, true. Mark Platon, yeah, one of our awardees then, so si Mark, uh, answered true. And Alriza uh, Zaidane Gaza said true and... Most of you said true. Let's check it out if that's correct. Yes, the correct answer is true. Okay, number two. Multimedia comes only in a single format, making its use exclusive and practical. Okay, so can you check or can you just uh, think if it's true or false? Multimedia comes only in a single format making its use exclusive and practical. Oh, we have a greeting from our uh, uh, program head, uh, Ma'am May, Tutor May. Hi, hi, Sir Arnel. Hi to our avid tutors. Hello, Paul. <laughs> it feels good that you're watching us or joining us in this session. Thank you, Paul, Ma'am May. Okay, so let's see what your, the, your answers for number two. Okay, so some of you answered false. I, I guess most of you answered false here. So, yes, Renz Giver said true. Okay, Caribbean Gabriel Villamore said false. It's a mixed answer, true and false. So let's check it out. All right, the answer is false. Okay, you will know later bakit siya false because our topic would be about multimedia. Next, number three. Even without the aid of multimedia, an explanation about a certain subject can be still lively and animated. Even without the aid of multimedia, an explanation about a certain subject can still be or can be still lively and animated. 
Is, is, that, is that true or false? Yan. Okay, so we are seeing answers already. Okay, so while waiting for the answers, we are reading some greetings from Great and Aulus from Ma Mark Hakutin. Okay, now the answers are coming. Okay, another from John Kevin Dapiawen. Yes, good afternoon to all of the people in Mangahan High School. All right, the correct answer for number three is false. All right, so you might wonder why. We will know later in the discussion, okay? Right, number four. Video presents moving pictures and typically combines images and sounds for a compelling media experience. Video presents moving pictures and typically combines images and sound for a compelling multimedia experience. Okay, so what's your answer for number four? All right, Alrisa said true, Stephanie said true, Angela Pauline said false, all right? Uh, but that's for number three, okay? Um, Lizelle Ann, Sebido said false, okay? So others are saying it's true, so it's a mixture, you know? Kakaiba ng mga sagot, dati sunod-sunod, no? But now, there are variations, so let's check it out. What's the answer? Okay, the correct answer is uh, true, okay? All right, number five, text is still a primary way to transmit information, although nowadays it is also used to augment other forms of communication, such as a text description of a photograph. Okay, so please try to answer. Is it true or false? Mm hmm Okay, so let's see. Danette Gansatao said it's true. Mark Platon said true. Kerubin Gabriel Villamor said it's true. Okay, hello po, Tutor Jovith. <laughs> All right, so Carlo Miguel Malonzo said true. Let's see if your answers are correct. Okay, that is true. Okay, so congratulations for those who were able to get the correct answer okay so yes yeah, so while we are waiting for the next slide to be played okay so i wanted to know how many of you got a perfect score for our activating prior knowledge part so uh just send me a heart react for those who were able to get five over five and okay yes good afternoon glacial from grade 10 Kratos. Okay, so we are seeing students sending hearts and numbers as well. They got five over five, congratulations. Yes, okay, so Paula, Andrea Cruz, Bianca, Zoe, all right, John Michael Bianco, all right. So Carla Miguel Malonzo also got a perfect score. Jeric, Mark Platon, congratulations for getting a perfect score in our today's Activating Prior Knowledge activity. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Now, you might be asking, class, since our topic is about multimedia resources, what are multimedia resources? So, unahin nating i-define muna what multimedia resource is or what is multimedia, by the way. So, based on our resource, multimedia comes in many different formats. Kaya nga siya multi or multi, marami, all right? It can be almost anything you can hear or see. So ito yung mga examples na mga multimedia resources that you can actually use or probably you might have been using it in your lessons or you might have been listening to it or might have been reading or might have been subscribing into. So examples are images, music, sound, videos, records, films, animations, and so much more. So this multimedia definition tells us that materials on the internet. Now, di ba, mahilig tayong mag-search sa internet ngayon because of, uh, you know, one of the benefits of pandemic, no? Na nagkaroon tayo ng mas maraming chance to maximize the use of technology, especially the internet, especially in your class. 
lalo pa pag may mga presentations involving several forms to effectively convey the message to the people. So nowadays, hindi na ganun boring yung mga presentations na puro sulat na lang, right? You can actually utilize colorful images or moving images to make your presentation or to better convey your message to the people. So one of the examples that I would say siguro regarding communication is yung mga emojis, di ba? So you can just simply type happy but you can even express it more dun sa mga emojis na merong available sa ating mga applications. So whether you are using Messenger or other, uh, you know, social media applications, it's actually making presentations and uh, delivery of the message more lively. No? So mas magandang makipag-usap or you tend to listen to your teacher or to your classmates' presentation if you're actually seeing a lot of uh, moving images or colorful presentations. So I am, hindi ko binabrag, hindi ako nagmamayabang sa presentation ko right now. But probably the teachers of Itulay are really trying our best to present you, you know, colorful and uh, eye-catching presentations so that you will also tune into it para hindi kayo mabubor. Okay? So another is that moreover, multimedia is a broad term, okay, for combining multiple media formats. Yan parang nabanggit siya kanina dun sa earlier slide. So whenever text, yung mga sulat, yung mga letters, audio, yung mga naririnig natin, still images, pictures, animation, moving pictures, video, and interactivity are combined. Pag pinagsama-sama natin silang lahat, the result is multimedia. Okay, so you will actually see the examples later, right? So PowerPoint slides, for example, yung mga pinakasimple. I, I know lahat ng mga nanonood ngayon, uh, whether you're a teacher or whether you're a student, you're, you have actually uh, have come across using PowerPoint presentation or PowerPoint slides, all right? So you can actually combine text, images, and madalas na pagkukombine na rin natin yung video and even yung mga iba pang uh, types ng mga files doon sa ating PowerPoint presentation so that it will be more appealing. Alright? Okay, so what do we have here? Now, class, I am going to share with you different multimedia resources. Okay? Alright, so let's see the first one. We have the text materials. We have the PowerPoint slides. We have photographs and other still images. We have audio files. We have video presentations. And we have GIFs and other forms of animation. Okay, so let's get started with text materials first. So allow me to read to you the definition or what is it about. Text is simply or still a primary way to transmit information. Now, it is the simplest and oldest source. Ayan. So ito yung pinaka basic, right? So text takes back takes us back to how the internet started. So as means of sending written messages back and forth between communicators. Ayan. So kung makikita niyo yung mga icons na yan, these are the popular sources. We can actually put it or we can actually retrieve it through Word and PDF. So this resource can be used in writing instructions, making announcements, giving information, narrating events, and the list goes on. So actually... Ito yung pinaka-basic because hindi siya ganun kahirap gawin. Although, ang hirap mo lang or yung effort lang na gagawin mo is yung iisipin mo yung ilalagay mo doon sa iyong text material. Alright? So, for example, you are going to write a story, you're going to design the letters, etc., etc. Text materials would be the basic. Okay? Let's see what we have here. Text is also used to augment or to add other forms of communication such as text description of a photograph. Ayan yung mga paglalagay ng caption sa pictures. That's a helpful uh, way as well to use the text. And subtitles of audio and videos in slides and many more. Yan yung mga nakikita nating mga subtitles. Salimbawa, nakikinig tayo ng mga audio or nanonood tayo ng videos. You can actually see the texts, all right? Right under it. So those are examples of text materials or yung use ng text materials. Okay? All right. So let's go back to the list. The next one would be the PowerPoint slides. 
Okay, so it's considered as part of the multimedia resource. What is a PowerPoint? It's often used to create business presentations. So, siguro primarily ito yung naging purpose niya. But then, since even schools need to present uh, their stuff to the students, like the lessons, para mas maging maganda yung presentations, even for educational or even in informal purposes, ay nagagamit natin yung ating PowerPoint presentation. So, the presentations are comprised of slides which may contain text, images, and other media such as audio clips and movies. Ayan. So, ito yung parang pinaka-screenshot ng isang PowerPoint presentation. So, if you were able to have a chance to make your report or to make your uh, presentation sa English or in even other subjects, even in other subjects, ito yung nakikita natin madalas. And we actually edit it. We can actually change the color of the font. We can make it bigger. We can make it smaller. We can put pictures. We can add videos. We can add audio, etc. So that your PowerPoint presentation will be lively and at the same time interesting to look at. Okay? So, that's all about the PowerPoint presentations or PowerPoint slides. So, another multimedia resource would be photographs and other still images. So, illustrations are perhaps the oldest form daw ng media. Okay, so historically, so si Gutenberg, ayan, so yung inventor ng ating movable printing press, I, I actually checked on that. Okay, so that was in 1400s where he enabled mass distribution of multimedia works containing both text and images. So because of his invention, mas naging mas marami yung mga books na may mga pictures and even yung mga books na may mga text during his time. Okay, so small images such as thumbnails or icons are often used as visual entry point to larger image or more detailed information. So under the classification of photographs and other still images, di ba kapag tayo nag-search minsan sa Google, we can, we can see this, you know, maliliit na mga pictures, di ba? So for example, I used this sample, I typed there in the search bar, beautiful places in Asia. Para mas marami kang mga choices, hindi agad ipapakita sa iyo ng Google yung malalaking pictures agad, okay? So they will be showing you what they call the thumbnails or icons which could be a very helpful way for you to identify which multimedia resource or which particular photograph or still images are you going to use sa iyong kailangan. All right? So uh, we can actually, we, we have our own options when we are checking the photos. So probably we are going to use it in our uh, poster or probably we're just going to use it in our classroom presentation. So depending sa you which of the following resources are you going to use uh, whenever you are choosing photographs and still images. Now look at this class. Text and images sometimes are combined. So pwede siyang pagsamahin in a single form. As many software programs make it easy to create text art. And so, napakarami nating mga applications like Canva, no? So, mga gumagamit ng Canva. A form of lettering that combines strong visual element as well. So, sa dami ng mga applications nowadays, ang puhuna na lang natin is actually our creativity, no? So, how do we combine the colors? How do we actually create you know, something simple into a very wonderful one, okay? So, katulad naman nakikita nating mga videos, no, sa itulay, yung mga, mga, mga ads, yung mga, mga promotional uh, posters, no, we can actually see the creativity of the ones making it. So, kayo rin, I know that you students, grade 7, or even you are, you, you belong in a higher year level, you can actually think of even more creative things na may isasama nyo doon sa inyong mga presentations or the sources where you can get so that you will be able to come up with a very wonderful multimedia resource. Mapapasama na siya doon sa bank ng resource yung yung ginawa. So, text and images sometimes are combined in a single form as many software programs make it easy to create text art, a form of lettering that combines a strong visual element as well. So, katulad nito, class, may mga websites na may mga pictures, pero for you to better understand what is in the picture, may mga captions yan. So, medyo maliit lang yung caption na nakalagay dyan. So, I would say that that is 
uh, little information about spinner dolphins. Ayan, yung mga may hilig sa science. You can actually read on that. And then, of course, yung mga pictures, di ba? Usong-uso ngayon yung mga pinopost natin sa social media. Yung mga, about, for example, ito si Lebron James. All right? So, he, he said, I like criticism. It makes you strong. So, we are getting their words and put it beside this picture. And then, we post it. And we are using it somehow to be an inspiration to other people and a resource too. Alimbawa, pinag-present ka ng teacher mo. Alimbawa, you are assigned to share a quote. You know, di ba may mga, sa mga klase natin sa English, for example, we get to start our day with a quote, for example. So may mga assigned to share quotes. So for your presentation, you can use this multimedia resource as your source para mas maganda ang iyong presentation. However, class, nowadays sa Facebook, marami rin lumalabas na mga peking ganyan. <laughs> Would you agree with me? Yung bang lalagyan ng picture ng isang popular person, tapos lalagyan ng quote, tapos madidiscover natin, hindi pala niya sinabi yun. Right? So, when we are checking on this uh, multimedia resource, yung mga photographs, may mga captions, may mga text, we have to be very careful. Hindi lang tayo basta nakita natin yung picture ng isang uh, tao, paborito natin siya, or we like the person, ipopost natin kagad. So, we have to be careful as well na talaga bang sinabi niya yon or talaga bang quote niya yung nakalagay doon sa picture. So, really have to be choosy and careful as well. Okay? All right, so we're done with that. Uh, with that uh, kind of multimedia resource, another the another multimedia resource that we have here is audio file or audio files. So, sabi dito class, a website or presentation can add sounds. It could be a musical background or a recorded spoken explanation by including audio files in it. So, for example, bilang studyante, you are actually going to think of a concept to make your presentation much better. Usually, nagkakaroon tayo ng idea to add up music kasi because, di ba, pagka, pagka yung senses natin is na-engage doon sa presentation, we tend to focus more, lalong-lalo na yung mga may hilig sa music, no? Um, for example, yung Facebook ngayon, meron na, siyang, meron na siyang option na kung saan pwede mong i-embed yung audio. All right, so probably to make your profile more interesting, no? So even in your presentations, audio files could be an example or a great uh, source of uh, multimedia materials, okay? Ayan. So examples of multimedia resource under audio files are podcasts. What is a podcast? A podcast is a series of spoken words audio episodes all focused on a particular topic or theme. Okay, so kumuha ko ng screenshot noong mga samples ng podcast and I've been hearing some people who are so much engrossed with it. So probably if they're interested with business, if they're interested with, uh, you know, um, yung mga inspirational messages, they will just be playing that using their device and then i ano nila sa kanilang earphones and then they will listen to it probably while doing their stuff. For example, habang nag-aaral or while they are driving or while they are traveling. So, hindi lang music yung mga madalas pakinggan ng tao nowadays, no? So, para ma magamit mo yung listening in a different uh, in a different manner, podcasts or audio files would be a, would be the best multimedia resource for you. Another would be audio books. Ayan. So I I have a friend. Mahilig siyang mag-subscribe doon sa mga audio books. It's not because he is lazy reading books, but rather. You know, he wanted to maximize his time. So, ba, nagda-drive siya, gusto niyang ma ma maging updated doon sa binabasa niyang novel, for example, classical novel, for example. He will just play the audio of it. At through listening, he will be able to understand and he would be able to finish the entire book just by listening to it. So, yan, yung mga students na nandito na nanonood right now, if you find reading a little bit boring, madalas kang maantok doon, try listening to audiobooks because that would actually be helpful. Same thing as reading. Okay? So, here is the fifth uh, multimedia resource. The one that we have here is the video presentation. So let me read to you. Uh, video presentations include moving pictures. Yan, syempre, mga videos yan eh. And typically combine images and sound 
for compelling. Pag sinabi natin compelling, talagang nakakadala ng damdamin. Multimedia experience. It can include texts as well, which often appears as subtitles for the spoken words or as texts in images, as in the case of slide presentation. So yung mga mahilig manood, for example, ng Netflix, no? Uh, may mga pinapanood tayo, for example, it's not English but we really are engrossed to it. So, may mga subtitles and we get to understand it even though the characters are speaking uh, other languages, no? So, kita niyo yung power ng multimedia, no? So, whenever we are whenever we are whenever this are being prepared, the makers of it are thinking of their audience. Ano ba to? Maging appealing ba to? Makikik makaka-connect ba kami through this particular multimedia resource? So, when you are preparing a presentation, you should also think about that. Okay? So, ano yung magiging reaction ng mga manonood or yung makaka, makakakita ng ating ginawang presentations. Ayan. So, I got a screenshot of some video presentations. Alright? So, I don't know from which movies are these, but the first picture might be a movie and the next one is like a vlog where this man is actually sharing something about what he has in his hand, for example. Okay? Ayan. So, regarding video presentations class, you can also contribute to the pool of multimedia resources by making your own vlog. Napaka-uso niyan ngayon, no? So, vlog is actually a combination of video and blog. Kasi dati, pag vlog, nag ano lang eh, text lang siya. You just express yourself, you just narrate, you just, uh, uh, parang essay type na nakalagay lang sa online or probably have written something like that. So now, para mas maging catchy siya, it's now combined with the video. So the author itself is actually the ones narrating uh, while recording him or herself and making contents on different subjects. So depende sa interest. Ayan, so if you're going to look at the picture, this woman is holding a phone. May mga gadgets pa sila, yung mga ginagamit talaga ng mga vloggers whenever they are going to places for them to make their contents. Okay? So with your camera, ayan, may mga phones kayo dyan. Napakabilis nang gumawa ng mga vlog, no? Usong-uso na yung, yung parang uh, expression ng mga vloggers. Like, hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Diba? Parang usually yun lagiging uh, simula ng mga vloggers, no? But I don't know kung meron pang mga, ano, may mga iba pang expression na ginagamit. But if you're going to look at this one with your camera phone, simply record the video as you present information. Yan. When you are making vlogs, you can actually present information, you can present instructions, yung mga cooking uh, vlogs, explanation, and as well as narration. So those are samples of video presentations or vlogs okay now we have the sixth one which would be the last i guess of the different multimedia resources that i'm presenting to you we have the gifs or gifs and other forms of animation so class animated files occupy a middle ground between still images and videos so yung type down na to class alanganin siyang Still image, alanghanin din naman siyang video. So that's why we have what we call GIFs, which is an abbreviation for graphics interchange format. And they are defined as small files that present a sim single image or a rapid display sequence of few images to give the appearance of motion. So I have samples of this one. Ayan, so pwede mo siyang isama sa mga PowerPoint presentations mo. Depende doon sa purpose or depende doon sa kagustuhan mo. Actually, these are just but samples. But when I was checking the samples, sobrang dami. No? So, nakakaingganyo din siya because it really makes your PowerPoint presentation very interesting and very appealing. Ayan. Okay, thank you so much, Bianca Irish e by Cruz for still watching or tuning in in our session today. All right, so just a review. These are the different mil multimedia resources. We have the text materials, PowerPoint slides, photographs and other still images, audio files, video presentations, and lastly, GIFs and other forms of animation. Okay. All right, so let us now have our quiz. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> yes, Chelsea. Okay, so marami daw gifs sa messenger. I agree with you. Actually, uh, mga nakakatuwa mga gifs yan. Ano? Okay, thank you so much for tuning in no? sa mga nanonood pa up until now. Wag nyo muna akong tulugan. <laughs> Okay, so class, let's now try to answer the following. So let me see kung natatandaan niyo yung mga pinagsasabi ko dito, no? So the instruction says, choose the correct answer for the following questions. Type your answer in the comment section. Okay, so let's begin with the first one. All right. Okay. Hmm. Bakit hindi siya nagpi-play? <laughs> All right, thank you so much po. Okay, so let's look at the first one. Okay, students. Let's see what's the answer for the first question. These include moving pictures and typically combine images and sounds for a compelling multimedia experience. So what do you think it is? All right, is it letter A, text materials, B, audio files, C, video presentations, or D, photos or still images? Okay, so what's the answer? All right, so Alriza answered. Video presentation. Carlo Miguel Malonso said video presentation. Class, don't forget to uh, write the letter. Okay? So, I appreciate din naman yung answers nung iba, no? So, okay. Samantha said letter C. Lorraine. So, para hindi lang kayo mahirapan. Okay? So, you can just type in the letter. But if you wanted to type the word itself, then that's okay then. So, Zaya May Juliana said it's C. Samantha Blasi, let's say C. Medyo nabulol ako doon. <laughs> All right. Mark Hakutin said C. Zaya May Juliana said C. All right. Branca Irish E by Cruz said C. Via Veni said C. Let's see if the answer is correct. Yes, it's letter C. Video presentations. Okay. Let's go to the second question. These are small files that present a simple image or a rapid display of sequence of few images to give the appearance of motion. Is it A, GIFs, B, video presentations, C, podcasts, or D, audiobooks? Okay, so what is the answer? Yes, Rasville, good afternoon. So uh, Rasville is from grade 10 Adonis, and I suppose she's from Mangahan High School. All right, so Rasville said C. Andrea said it's, oh, that's for number one, ano? Number two, okay, so Nino Zig P. Humamil said it's A. All right, Arvik Erosa said it's A. Okay, how about the others? John Lawrence Bakud said it's A. Sofia Bianca Quinone said it's A. Let's see if that's the correct answer. That's correct. It's letter A. Good job, students. Let's have number three. These are videos personally created. Which purpose is to present information, instructions, explanation, or narration about a particular content or topic? What is this? Is it A, PowerPoint, B, GIFs, C, podcasts, or D, vlogs? Ayan. What do you think is the answer for number three? So marami pa nagsisend ng sagot nila for number two. It's letter A. So balik-balik tayo. Let's check if there are people who greeted here. Ayan. Oh, we have grade six student. Queen Lorraine P. Trinidad from grade six. Uh, Pythagoras. Wow. Okay, so Fiona Lay Bravo of grade 10 Apollo. Oh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Okay, so we already have answers. Let's see. Okay, so we have Kasip Joriel said A. All right, that's for number three, my dear students. Sa Al Raisa said it's A. Carlo Miguel Malonso said it's D. All right. All right, so Shakhairi Solis said it's D. All right, Mark Lester said A. All right, so mixed A, uh, my A at my letter D. Okay, so what do you think is the correct answer? 
All right, letter D is the correct answer, vlogs. Okay, class, so may clue tayo. These are videos personally created which purpose is to present information. So personally created yung mga vlogs, no? And yung mga nagsagot ng PowerPoint, it's okay. But PowerPoint presentations, nilalagyan natin siya ng video whenever we are actually making our presentations. Okay, let's see the next one. Number four. These are small images often used as a visual entry point to large images or more detailed information. Ayan, so kapag nag-access daw tayo ng mga multimedia resource, lalo yung mga pictures, these are small images often used as a visual entry point to larger images or more, de more detailed information. So is it A, thumbnails or icons, B, photographs, C, GIFs, or letter D, text materials? Okay, what's the answer for number four? Okay. Okay, so si Carlo Miguel said, ang natandaan daw niya is yung narration. That's okay. All right, number four. What is the answer for number four? Nino Zig Pihumamil is the first one to answer. His answer is letter A. So Dairy Sadik said it's A. Danet Gansatao, it's letter A. Edward Anthony Lumanlan said it's letter A. Mark Platon said it's D. Glacel Simpao said it's A. Maraming letter A today. So let's see if the correct answer is letter A. All right, good job, class. The correct answer is letter A, thumbnails and or icons. Ayan. So kung pwede lang ako magpapalakpak, no? <laughs> okay, number five. Ay, walang number five. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so walang number five. Lahat na nakakuha. Everybody who got four over four, can you just send me a smiley, all right? A smiley. Or a happy react. Lakakwa ng four over four. Renz Giver got four over four. Congratulations, Renz. Carlo Miguel got four over four too. Congratulations. Ezel Reconesis Sauter got four over four. All right. William. Ayan, and dami nakakwa ng perfect score. Razville, Crystal, Andrea, RC, Jade. Yes, thank you. And I'm so glad that you were able to get a perfect score. But for those who weren't able to get one, it's okay. Meron pa naman tayong kasunod na activity. Okay, let's see what we have here. Choose the correct answer for the following questions. Type your answer eh, answers in the comment section. So letters na lang no, para hindi mahirap. The first question for you is, if you were just simply asked to write a narration of your most embarrassing experience at the mall, what resource would you likely to use? Is it A, text, B, audio, or C, video? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think is the answer? All right, to write, uh huh, to write a narration. <laughs> okay, so some says it's C. Okay, all right, it's letter A text. Okay, next, number two. What multimedia resource allows you to combine the use of text, images, and other, other media such as audio clips and movies? Okay, is it text? audio, or PowerPoint slides. Combination class. Look at that. Combining text, images, and other media such as audio clips and movies. Is it A, text, B, audio, C, PowerPoint slides? Okay, so Arvik said C. Cyrus said C. Okay, Alraisa said C. Let's see if the correct answer is C. Okay, that's correct. PowerPoint slides. Okay, you can actually combine this. Next. What multimedia resource can best present can best present if you were asked or if you were tasked to explain gravity through demonstration? Ayana, through demonstration. What multimedia resource can best present? If you were tasked to explain gravity through demonstration, is it A, text, 
B, video, or C, PowerPoint slides? Or they demonstrate. You're going to demonstrate something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jolian said it's B. So Diary said it's B. Zoe said it's B. Zai Ryan said it's B. Andrea said it's B. Let's see if the correct answer is B. That's correct. So yung mga demonstrations, if you're going to show something na gagawin, it's much easier to show it through a video. So the fourth one is to create an effective video presentation which must be properly combined. A, moving pictures, sounds, and text. B, moving pictures, images, and sounds. Or letter C, moving pictures, images, sounds, and text. Ayan. So, medyo confusing, no? Pero let me see. Effective video presentation. Ano daw yung mga dapat nating pagsamasamahin? Moving pictures, sounds, and text. Moving pictures, images, and sounds. See, moving pictures, images, sounds, and text. Ayan. So, I'm seeing letter C. Judah Paolo said it's C. Clara de Castro said it's C. Bianca said it's C. Mark said it's B. Azel Reconesa said it's B. Jimbo said it's C. Let's see if it's the correct answer. Ayan. Let her see because it's all. Parang lahat isinama mo na doon. However, even though you're combining it all, you should still think kung maayos pa ba, kaaya-aya pa, right? Okay, so let's have, let's have number... Five, which of the following can be an alternative to reading your classical novel? A, vlog, B, podcast, C, audiobooks. And alternative, I mentioned that earlier. <laughs> Ayan, so yung mga hindi mahilig magbasa, they just wanted to, uh, you know, to enjoy literature in a different manner. Okay, I can see... Answers already. Ethel said it's C. Danette said it's C. Jan Arga said it's C. Lorraine Hebe said it's C. All right. Aaron Oriega said it's C. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> All right. The correct answer is audio books. All right, dear students, congratulations for getting the answers correctly. So before I go to the next slide, I wanted to check if you were able to get a perfect score. So sa lahat na nakakuha ng perfect score, send me a heart react. Okay? So I can see, I, I can still see a lot of answers. Andrea gets C. All right, congratulations for Ezel, for Carlo, for Alriza, for Maria, for Jan Joseph, Jolian, Carlo Miguel, Trisha, Andrea, Renz Giver, okay, RC, Eifer, Daniela, Mary Rose, and so much more. I'm so happy that a lot of you got a perfect score. Okay, to summarize our lesson, we are about to end our session. Summarizing our lesson, what are multimedia resources? So multimedia comes in many different formats. It can be almost anything you can hear or see. Don't forget that images, music, sound, videos, records, films, and animations and more are classified under it. So the multimedia definition tells us that materials on the internet or in your class presentations involve several forms to effectively convey the message to the people. So, of course, we have the different multimedia resources, text materials, PowerPoint slides. We have the photographs and other still images, audio files, video presentations, GIFs, and other forms of animation. So, let's check it out if we were able to hit our objectives for today. Were we able to identify different readily available multimedia resources? Were we able to appreciate the benefits of multimedia resources? And of course, were we able to use correct and appropriate multimedia resources in giving information and making explanations? Definitely, we were able to apply this today. And, ayan, yung mga assignment class, para magkaroon tayo ng award ulit. At the end of the quarter, kindly participate in making our assignment. So, your assignment, you can take a photo of this. What multimedia resources are you commonly using? You have to tell me these resources. 
that help you in your lessons and you can present your answers in any manner. So pwede niyong i-present or pwede niyong i-send yung sagot niyo sa akin through an essay, pwede ring boses lang, or pwede through video presentation. So maikli lang ha, I'm not expecting a very long or a very... Uh, uh, lengthy audio or video presentation. So I hope you are going to send your answers to Tutor Dre's page and to me. Okay, I personally respond to your answers. Okay, kapag kayo ay nag-send sa akin sa aking personal Facebook account. Okay, so don't forget the exit assessment. Just scan it and answer the Google form for the exit assessment. And of course, for the evaluation and feedback, evaluate the way I taught you today and be honest because that in that way, I would be able to improve my manner of teaching. Yeah, and so class, we have finished another session. I will see you again next Tuesday at 1.40 to 2.20 p.m. And hopefully, we would be with Tutor Dre's next meeting. Don't forget to tune in to uh, our uh, uh, session every Tuesday at 1.42 to 20 p.m. And you can watch it from Facebook and uh, YouTube if you were not able to watch it live. So these are the faces of English Junior High School Itulai. And up next, let's tune in to Tutor Jubilee and Tutor Jovet for English 8. So thank you so much, my dear tutees all over the Philippines. Have a good day. Bye for now.